Hello friends, welcome to the video series on interview questions for SQL PL SQL developer. So here is another prominent question which is being asked in most of the SQL PL SQL interview interviews. Like what is the difference between a view and a materialized view? So typically this question is being asked at a beginner level, but a related questions to view and a materialized view along with the difference is can be asked for any level of experts. First we'll understand what is a view and a materialized view through few examples. Then we'll see what should be your answer from interview point of view. So to start with, see first we'll see one sim similarity between a view and a materialized view. See both the view and a materialized view are nothing but a named queries. So we are creating a named query as a view object. Same way we are creating a named query as a materialized view. So uh, technically speaking, both view and materialized view are just going to give the result of a query, result of a select statement. The only difference is we are just going to give a name, a view name or a materialized view name. Through that name, we are going to access the select statement. So uh, from similarity aspect, both are nothing but it just going to give the output of a select statement. But there is a subtle difference between the view and the materialized view in the way the output is being presented to the user. So that is what we are going to see. So one more thing, the view and materialized view, since it is a named query, the query can have any number of underlying tables or it can have underlying views also. Okay, it's not necessary that it has to be from single base table. The base table it can be from single or more than one base tables. Just for an understanding point of view, I'm just going to show you a view under a materialized view from one single table but it's not necessary that you have to create a view or materialized view always based on single table. Practically in real scenarios, we'll be creating a view and a materialized view by combining multiple base tables. And in fact, view can be based on another views also. Same way a materialized view can be based on another view or a view, whatever. Okay, so, so in this example, if you see there is a table and I'm, I've just created a view on top of a table. Same way, but whenever you create a view the view just stores the name of a query that's it it won't store the data of the result but whenever you create a materialized view materialized view it just creates the physical memory location of the result of the query but in a view the result is nowhere stored only the query metadata will be stored that is only the view information will be stored in the metadata tables whereas in the materialized view the data of the result set is being stored in another physical location so the data is actually being stored whenever you query the view suppose if you say select star from that view since the view doesn't have any physical data it always fetches from the base table so whenever you query from the view the data directly comes from the base table that means whenever you query the view the underlying sql will get executed at the runtime and the information will be fetched from the base table but whenever you query from the materialized view materialized view will always get the information from the local data that is the materialized views own physical data it will not fetch the information from the base table okay so in this case if you see whenever suppose now you have created a view and a materialized view so you are just selecting from the view that means any changes happen to the table will automatically immediately will ref reflect to that view because at any point of time when you select the information from a view it all or it automatically executes the underlying select statement and fetches the information whereas in materialized view since it is from a local data any changes happen to the table will not reflect to the materialized view immediately okay so this is one difference so to get the data from the base table into the materialized view storage we have a concept called refresh. Probably this is another interview question sometimes you may face like the moment you say refresh keyword, interviewer might ask like what are the types of refresh and all, all these things. Probably all those things I will cover in the, some other video. But just from the view and the materialized view point of view, uh, we just need to understand view doesn't have any physical data stored. Whereas a materialized view, the result of the query is physically stored. Okay, so this is one main difference. So before we'll see what should be your answer from interview aspect, we'll see a few examples, then I will show you 
uh, what should be your exact answer for interview so here is a simple uh, table employee table so i've just have 14 employee informations in the employee table now i'm just creating a a uh, view called emp underscore 10 as you can see here i'm just creating a view called emp 10 you can see the syntax create or replace view okay that means we are just creating a view so this view is just going to display the information like select star from emp where department equal to 10 so we are just going to display all the employees working in a department 10 so once the view is created the moment you select uh, the information from a view saying that select star from emp underscore 10 because now this is the view name the moment you say select star from the view name immediately it executes the underlying statement like whatever the statement is part of this view and just fetches the information from the base table so all the records from the information from who is working in the 10 will be displayed in the result set okay now same way when you say when you create a materialized view so here is the syntax create materialized view okay so that is the keyword and I'm saying employee 10 underscore EMV. So the, exactly the same query I'm giving. So I've just created a materialized view. The moment a materialized view is created, the information that is whatever the results of this query will be stored physically. And from that physical location, the result will be actually displayed. This is about the view under materialized view. Okay, now we'll see what happens if we delete the uh, employee uh, information from the base table. Okay, so if, if you can see here, I've just deleted and committed the informations here. So when you say select star from employee, no informations are retrieved. Same way when you do the select star from the view, actually the data will not retrieve because view always refers from the base table. So there is no data, right? So there is no data whenever you query from the view. However, when you do a select star from the employee underscore 10 MV, it is still displaying the data. The reason is, only the table data has been truncated not but the m materialized view will have its own physical data from that physical data the data is actually retrieved so this physical data that is the data from the base table to the materialized view information will get refreshed through a process called materialized view refresh to do the materialized view refresh we have a package called dvms underscore mv through that we can invoke the refresh uh, procedure which will sync the data between the base table to the materialized view so till the refresh happened materialized view data will be physically present so that means till the refresh happened uh, the data will not be in sync between the base table and the materialized view okay now we'll see uh, how to refresh and what what will happen so same way since the employee information are related whenever you query from the view no information will be displayed but when you do a dbms mview dot refresh the informations will actually get refreshed to the materialized view so all the data will be even deleted from the materialized view okay so this is about just a basic information about what is a view what is a materialized view from a syntax perspective i just showed you a few examples now we'll see what should be your answer from interview point see as i mentioned view is nothing but a simple named query it is just a metadata only object so it doesn't store any data information so whenever you query the view the view in turn executes the underlying base query and fetches the information from the base table so the actual data comes from the base table only it's not from the view because the view don't have any physical data whereas whenever you create a view and access the data from the materialized view it fetches the information from the materialized view storage not from the base table so this is the first difference okay the second difference is since view doesn't have any physical data the data is actually an online data any changes that happen to the base table will get immediately reflected to the view so the moment you deleted a record and when you query the view from the view you will not be able to see the record because view is just an online data whereas a materialized view it is a delayed or offline data till you do a refresh process the materialized data will be available so this is very much in line with the second statement so since view is an online we don't need a separate process to refresh the data whereas in a materialized view we need to periodically refresh the data from the base table to the materialized view storage see these three are the primary differences between the view and the materialized view sometimes once you say the answer for these views and materialized view 
on top of these answers the, some interviewer might ask like what are all the types of refresh and in what scenarios you might be using a view in what scenarios you might be using materialized view okay probably all the all these related questions i will answer in some other video but from a, uh, purely from a difference between a view and a materialized view point of view i think these three points are more than enough and the main difference is the physical storage and the refresh point because this these keywords are expected in the interview aspect if you want any questions to be answered you can just post it in the comment section or you can drop to this mail id if you have learned something new please like this video and subscribe and stay tuned for more uh, videos on new future videos interview questions concept videos tips and tricks and sql practice questions thanks a lot for watching this video